What's going on guys? It's Mark from Prime Toys Media. Welcome to the Weekend Toy Review. Today we're unboxing the Dead Man, the Undertaker from the WWE Elite Collection. Let's go! All right guys, here we go. The Dead Man, the Undertaker, WWE Elite Undertaker. Uh, now this channel, we're not going to do too many wrestling figures, but uh, when you come to mixing and matching figures, if there's anybody that we would perceive could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a superhero out of the Wrestling Federation, it'd be The Undertaker, because he's, he's way more than a normal human being, right? Box art is awesome on this. I love the eye rolled back photo. We've got a little bit uh, wider shot here. So... This isn't my definitive Undertaker. I prefer the old school purple gloves look, but uh, as far as a modern, you know, really cool Undertaker, you can't beat this one. Yeah, there's the, the look I prefer. Got the American Badass, the one the toy's based off of, old school. Little bio on the back. You can read it yourself. Let's get him out of this plastic box, right? Real quick, just in the packaging, he does come with two sets of hands. We'll get a better look at those in a second here. Get the full coat. Look at all that detail in the coat. That is awesome. First things first, again, the detailing on this coat is amazing. Look at all the little lines and circles and things to make this coat just really stand out, that extra detail. First things I did notice though pulling out, my hat's a little funky from being stuck in the plastic weird. So I'm hoping if I just stick it in some warm water, it'll go back to its normal shape. Because if you spin the hat around, it's got that little dip. But, uh, I don't think that's supposed to be there. I think that's from sitting in the Sitting in the box too weird. Take off his hat real quick. Again, because it's a more recent Undertaker. He's got the receding hairline and the shaved sides. Put the long hair in the back. It's very cool. Does come with an extra set of hands. Let's get this coat off him first. Because with the coat on, you ain't moving his arms. This, this coat is molded in position that you you lose all flexibility. All right, but it's only for when he walks out entrance-wise anyhow. So, let's peel it off. It's on there good. Come on. Oh. Okay. Well, this might not go back on. Wow, look at all the tattoos. I would have to go look at photos to see if these are accurate. That's, you know, on his actual arms. Or if these are make-up, make-believe just for the toy. Matter of fact, I'll throw a couple pictures up on the screen. So for comparison, we got the uh, side shot here. Front. Left arm. Once it gets focused, left arm. As I was saying before, extra set of hands, so he's got his gripping hands here and comes with slightly different gripping hands. So I don't know why I would want gripping hands bigger than others. Would have been nice to see a fist fist, but who knows why they do what they do. Other detail, let's look a look at these pants. Standard black pants. You can see seams though, which is nice. Nice belt detail. You got pockets on the jeans. Let's see, does this little arm wrap come off? It is a separate piece, but uh, I don't think I'd be able to pull it off, at least not easily. Articulation wise, his hair prevents his head from moving too much. You can force it. Well, he does have the tattoo on his neck. Last I had seen and really followed, it said Sarah. What's it say on there right now? 273. 
lot of extra detail that they didn't need to do. The head sculpt is really cool, super intense. Would have been cool if they would have gave us a eyed roll back version of head too, to swap in and out. I can live with this one. But as we were saying, articulation. So this arm, his left arm, doesn't bend all the way because of the, the wrap. But as you can see, it's only a single elbow anyway. So it's not a double elbow. It does have swivel at the upper muscle, which you can still do on this side as well. Good range of motion with the shoulder. Can go up and down. As for the legs, the legs are double jointed, which are nice. Knee pads don't look too weird or out of place, both legs. His feet rock side to side, not too much front and back, and you can rotate them, albeit slightly. What do we got on there? 2012. So again, not a new figure. But on this channel, we open toys old and new. And this one's still readily available. So I think I got this brand new on Amazon. So if you're interested in an Undertaker, this isn't a bad one to get. Hands do swap out. But I literally went from giant open grip to only slightly open grip. And on the other side, it's the same thing. I mean, it's, it's barely even noticeable, to be honest. One's only slightly larger. So I don't understand the purpose. Give me a give me a fist. Let's take a look at the Undertaker though, next to some other figures and see how he scales. Alright, starting off, so the Mattel WWE Undertaker comes in just over seven inches. You can see there uh the seven's near his ear, so uh he is a tall boy. So if I had to pick a dream match, let's see. Ooh, Undertaker. Taller than Superman. Okay. That could make him imposing. He's looking at you, man. There we go. Nice. Just, just staring each other down. Think Superman would be in trouble? I do. And that's that. Those are the McFarlane toys. Coming in at 7 inches. Here's a ninja. Good old Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is coming in short. But, again, makes the Undertaker look super imposing. Could be a good battle, I think. And let's see, who should the last one be averse? You know I was bringing out the Hulk, right? Had to. Of course I was going to do it this way. Let's back it up a little bit. So, Undertaker versus the Hulk. Mmm. That's going to be a tough one, but again, just gives you an idea, guys, how these things scale, uh, who you might want to stick them with, who you might not. You know, Spider-Man or something with The Undertaker is just going to make The Undertaker look huge. Think, what is he, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, something like that in real life? So he's a big guy, but compared to Spider-Man, he looks like he's coming in at like 8 foot, so... Maybe not with your Marvel Legends, at least not in a normal eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball pose. But they will pose very well with the McFarlane figures, the standard Diamond Select, and uh, the other 7-inch style figures in general. That's it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Open toys new and old. Let's get out of here with some cool photos.